Hey Killer Bees, it's Paula B from PaulaBeeFitness.com and on tap today I've got a great full body cardio, toning, and strength workout that's perfect for women of a certain age. You guys, you are going to need some dumbbells today and I have both my lightest pair and a moderate pair. I'm going to explain all about how we'll use those dumbbells but make sure that you've got a variety. If you need a variety, make sure that you open up the description box below to get the exact three pair set that I got from Amazon that I use for all of our workouts. You guys, today there is absolutely no jumping, no transitions to the ground, and I've got both a warm up and a cool down for us. So when you're ready for this one, I'm totally ready. Let's go. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means that we're going to have our dumbbells completely out of the way. And we're starting with some arm circles with high knees like we do. And if you didn't know that that is like we do, that means that you might be new around here. Welcome to the Paula B Fitness channel. My friends, this is how we start all of our workouts. <laughs> this warm up is my Pavlovian way of making sure that my body and my brain are ready every time by doing the exact same handful of exercises that really get us warm up through all of our joints, all of our muscles, and all of our brains <laughs> ready to go. You guys, if you are new here, make sure that you click that subscribe button and the bell notification so that YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new workout. You guys, today's workout is going to be, it's going to be a fun one. And let me just tell you straight up that I am demonstrating today as a moderate day, but today could vary, very, very easily easily be a push day for you. Now, if you don't know whether or not today is a moderate day or a push day or exactly what I'm talking about, make sure that you open up the description box below. I have a free five page information resource that explains all about how to make any workout work for you, depending on what you want to get out of it. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. The fact is there is a place in every kind of workout routine for a moderate workout. However, here's something I've noticed. Doing a little tiny bit of research like on the internet, there are not a lot of moderate workouts to be had. Now, you have probably found this when you are looking for workouts. You've probably noticed that most of them are pretty brutal, pretty tough, pretty crazy. And so what I want to show you today is how to take a workout that truly could be very difficult and make it moderate so that it works for you. Here's what we're doing today. I've got cardio and cardio toning and strength for us today. This is full body, full sweat. And that's why I have two different pairs of dumbbells. I have my lightest pair for the cardio toning and I have my moderate pair for the strength. Depending on what you have available though, you guys, this very adjustable workout could actually be all cardio or all cardio toning or all strength. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. And hey, by the way, welcome to Blossom's home. You guys, I know you see my cats all the time and yet I can't honestly remember the last time Blossom was on camera, but here she is. She's hanging out with us today, taking a little nap right on the couch behind me. Ordinarily, she runs away as soon as I bring out the cameras, but today she decided that she'd kind of like to come out and say hello. So you guys, here's what it looks like. I've got the handy dandy gym boss here set for intervals of 20 seconds and we're taking my handful of exercises step stool style. Now, if you have done one of my step stool workouts before, let me tell you a little something. This one is, again, this could totally be a push day. This is a little bit longer of a step stool. It's more like, honestly, it's more like a half ladder, <laughs> truly. So I am really, really thinking about taking today at a very moderate pace, trying to keep my heart rate very, very moderate, very easygoing, very gentle. If you do not have the kind of equipment that I do with very light dumbbells or, you know, a moderate pair or a heavy pair, whatever you've got, you can totally take all of today at whatever pace with whatever equipment you want to. Let's go ahead and get started and I'll tell you more about that. We're starting with 20 seconds of half jacks, which is exactly what it sounds like. They're half jumping jacks. You're right half and then your left half. Now here's the thing, step stool style means that every interval gets progressively longer and therefore more difficult. This first one here, it's 20 seconds of half jacks and then we're going to rest for 20 seconds. 
but we're adding one more exercise every time. So 20 seconds of rest right now. So the next time it beeps, we're gonna do half jacks again, but before we rest, we're adding on reach across. Now, if you have a light pair of dumbbells and you wanted to take all of today at cardio toning, you could absolutely be doing that right now with these exercises because here's our half jacks. Because here's the thing, I've only got this one set of exercises exercises for us today and we're taking it as cardio. Then we're going to do another round of cardio toning with our light dumbbells. Then we're going to take a round with our heavier, not necessarily heavy, dumbbells. When it beeps, we're doing reach across by the way. So reaching across and reaching across. Here we go. Right across the front of your body with that other leg tapping back out beside you. And I want to show you how it's not the exercise <laughs> that makes the workout tough, it's how we do the exercise that makes it tough. Here's 20 seconds of rest. So today, oh, hello, Rosie is wandering through, it. it's all of the animals today. So when it beeps again, we're gonna do half jacks, plus the reach across, plus forward hinge arm flappers before we take a rest. So now you can see where this is coming up on getting more difficult because the work interval is longer. So that's why we're really thinking, I'm just, I'm just kind of meandering through today. No matter how fast or slow or how heavy the dumbbells or, or whatever the person on screen is doing, my friends, you can always make a workout work for you. Here we go with those reach across and then when it beeps again, we're gonna do forward hinge arm flappers before we rest. Today could very easily, especially once these work intervals, I mean, this work interval is already long, but it's gonna get even longer than this. When these work intervals get long like this, it's very easy to get your heart rate up, up, up. So here we go with forward hinge arm flappers. Just what it sounds like, your hands are flapping, kind of like a jumping jack, but you're hinging forward by pushing your hips back behind you. This is, yes, my friends, it is a deadlift <laughs> with jumping jacks on the upper half of your body. When it beeps again, we're gonna get that 20 seconds of rest, and yes, oh, we're still adding on. As I mentioned, this isn't, this isn't a small stool, a step stool that we're doing today. This is like a half of a ladder. So when it beeps again, we're doing half jacks, plus reach across, plus the forward hinge arm flappers, plus butter churns, one of my favorites. So here we go with those half jacks. Now, if you are taking today as a push day, my friends, you would probably be going faster than me, I'm assuming. This feels moderate to me. Depending on, honestly, depending on how long you've been working out, what kind of workouts you like to do, whether or not you like cardio more than strength. Here we go with reach across. You, your moderate or your push might look exactly like mine, might look a lot faster than mine, might look a lot slower than mine. Your workout is always yours. When it beeps again, we're doing those forward hinge arm flappers. You are doing such a good job no matter what pace you are going. So here's our forward hinge arm flappers. And then when it beeps again, we're gonna do butter churns. What that means is that we're doing basically a delt raise right in front of our body with our hands going up and down right in front. And then one leg kicking out at a time. When your hands are down, one foot is out. So we're churning butter up and down in front of us while we're kicking out one leg at a time. I know some of my friends call these hee-haws, which I also appreciate. Kind of feels like we're at a hoedown here. When it beeps again, we're getting 20 seconds of rest. I know you're feeling this long work interval. Today, here we go with 20 seconds of rest. Today we are absolutely getting all of the benefit of like a HIT workout where we're moving fast and then taking rest, but we're also getting a lot of cardio endurance. When it beeps again, we're starting again with those half jacks. Hopefully you like half jacks, right? <laughs> You'll notice it today because my friends, these half jacks are the first exercise of all of our step stools. As previously mentioned, we're doing these same exercises as cardio and then cardio toning and then strength. When it beeps again, we're gonna do that reach across. So reaching across and reaching across. When it beeps again, we're gonna do forward hinge arm flappers. And what that means, we're gonna have our lower half of our body doing that deadlift while our upper body is doing the jumping jacks. And you guys, 
This is the longest of our work intervals. So here we go with those forward hinge arm flappers. So we're adding on this time. Well, coming up next, we're gonna do butter churns, but then we're adding on double knees, which is the final exercise in our step stool or half ladder. So when it beeps, we're still doing those butter churns or hee haws, however you wanna think about them. So when your hands are down, one foot is kicking out to the side. Hands come up, we're standing up and churning that butter, <laughs> you guys. When it beeps again, we're doing double knees which means we're gonna have both hands up overhead, bringing both hands down to one knee two times in a row on one side, boom, and then on the other side, boom. When it beeps again, we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest. And this was the whole step stool or half ladder, which for me means the end of cardio. If you are following along with me and gonna move into cardio toning, you can go ahead and grab your lightest dumbbells. If you don't have something that's light enough for cardio toning, I would strongly suggest if you have something heavier, you take it at a strength pace or you go ahead and stay hands-free and take this as another cardio. When it beeps, we're starting again with those half jacks, but we're down at the bottom of our step stool slash half ladder. Oh, feel how different this feels, even with light dumbbells, which means that we're doing 20 seconds of work and then we're gonna take 20 seconds of rest. So we've just got these half jacks all by themselves and you can already feel if you do have light enough dumbbells to take this at a cardio toning pace, 20 seconds of rest. You can already feel how different this is. My dumbbells are only three pounds, and I say only. I know for some people that's very heavy, for some people that's very, very light. My dumbbells are three pounds, <laughs> and I already feel a huge difference in my heart rate between empty-handed and three pounds. Here we go again with those half jacks, and then when it beeps again, oh no, we're not resting yet, we're gonna do those reach across. You'll notice, and here's the thing that I want you to notice about today's workout. All of these exercises, they're relatively familiar, especially if you've worked out with me before. They feel so different. Here we go with reach across, reach across really thinking about good form thinking about holding in your core oh my goodness when you've got anything in your hand you really have to think about pressing your hand or your leg away from your torso by pulling in your core here's 20 seconds of rest and that's what I want you to notice about our three different speeds today. Cardio, I mean, even when we're doing it moderately, when it beeps again, of course, we're starting with those half jacks. Cardio always feels, I mean, we're empty handed. It feels tough because we've got our heart rate up and we're breathing heavy. Here we go with those half jacks. But for me, it, cardio is the easiest thing. I mean, it, generally speaking, I can get moving pretty fast before I really start to feel the cardio effort in my heart and lungs. As soon as we're doing cardio toning, got a little bit of weight in your hands, the effort level, here we go with reach across, the effort level goes way up even if we're moving at a slower pace. And if you do choose to join me with a strength session after this, when it beeps again, we're doing forward hinge arm flappers. That's what we're adding on this time. Oh, there goes Blossom. See you later, sweetheart. Oh my goodness, and forward hinge arm flappers. Awesome job. You'll notice that your heart rate gets up and stays up even while our pace slows down. This is always about managing your intensity. 20 seconds of rest. Managing your intensity is always about managing your pace as well as whatever you have in your hands for effort and intensity with your weights. When it beeps again, of course we're gonna start with those half jacks and this time we're adding on our butter churns. So we're gonna have four exercises in a row. I know, I know you're really feeling all of them this time. And that, again, is really the point of what I wanted to show you today. There is a way to make every exercise easier if you're making it moderate or harder if today is a push day. Here we go with those reach across. Because my friends, if today is a push day, you could definitely be going a little faster 
than me, maybe have weights a little heavier than me if that's still appropriate for you for cardio toning. Now here's the thing, when it beeps again, we're gonna do forward hinge arm flappers. Just, just knowing the number on your weights isn't enough to tell you whether or not it's moderate for you or hard for you. The fact is there's no minimum standard to meet. There was once upon a time, five years ago or so, when it beeps again, we're doing those butter churns, when three pounds wasn't even a thing for me. I think I'm doing these backwards. I am, but I'm going to keep doing it this way. My hands are up and my foot is out to the side and I'm pretty sure I normally do it other than that. But you know what? Here, here's another important point, my friend. <laughs> If you get started wrong, just keep moving. There's, there's no butter churn police coming to your house 20 seconds of rest to tell you, oh, hey, you're doing those wrong. Don't worry about it. You're doing them. That's always the point. Here's our 20 seconds of rest. When it beeps again, we've got all five exercises in a row. So we're adding on those double knees. We're starting, of course, with the half jacks. Totally feeling the effort of this longer interval with these light-ish <laughs> weights. Here's what I was saying about light weights. Light for you is light. Three pounds might be your heaviest weights right now. That does not mean that you should be using your three pound weights, here we go with reach across, for this cardio toning. Whatever feels heavy to you is heavy. There's no number that you have to have on your weights to feel like you've done this workout right or correctly. Coming up next is our forward hinge arm flappers. Once upon a time, when I was younger, here we go, forward hinge arm flappers, I could lift maybe not a lot heavier than I can lift now, but I could, I could lift heavier weights with less effort. I can still lift heavy weights, but it takes more effort. When it beeps again, we're doing those butter churns. I'm gonna see if I can get it right this time. Nope, still get it wrong. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> there's something about moving my arms up that makes me wanna move my leg up, and that's not how I designed this exercise. But you know what? Today, today this is right. <laughs> when it beeps again, we're gonna do those double knees, and here we go, both hands up. Ooh, and down. And here, my friends, is the real reason I made this the last exercise in our step stool. I knew how tough this was going to feel. I actually, when I first started designing this workout, I had this exercise down first because I thought, oh, that's a great one. Okay, 10, 20 seconds of rest. I am grabbing moderate for me weights. If today is a push day, go ahead and grab something heavy. If you're going to go back to cardio because you don't have something that feels moderate, go ahead and go back to cardio. I'm going to be slowing down though. I'm starting again with half jacks, but this is now strength, which means that I am really focusing on pulling in my core. Nothing about this feels like cardio anymore. We're not going to get very many reps done. This isn't about reps. This is about form. Here's the real difference between cardio and cardio toning and strength. Whew, 20 seconds of rest. Mostly it comes down to speed. You should always be thinking about pulling in your core. You should always be thinking about doing the exercises, you know, as good as you can, butter churns notwithstanding, <laughs> but doing them properly as much as you can. With strength, however, we're getting our intensity from the weights, not from the speed. Here we go with those half jacks. And then when it beeps again, we're gonna go into that reach across. You will notice if you do have enough dumbbells that you were able to go up in weights and call this a strength portion. All of these exercises are significantly harder with more weight. Here we go with that reach across. Woo. For me, especially this punching out motion, very difficult feeling it all through my shoulder and chest and my arms. Woo. Really thinking about pulling in my core. We got plenty of intensity by moving fast when we were doing cardio, 20 seconds of rest. But now our intensity comes from the difficulty of the weights. Now here's the thing. These weights are still moderate for me, but that doesn't mean they're easy. <laughs> it never means they're easy. When it beeps again, we're doing those half jacks again. This time we're adding on the forward hinge arm flappers to our work interval. So here we go with half jacks. The thing about moderate work, sometimes you don't know 
that it's not moderate anymore <laughs> until all of a sudden you realize just how hard you're pushing. If your weights started off feeling moderate and already don't, drop them. My friends, go back down to your cardio toning weights if you need to. Here's reach across or, or call this another cardio circuit. This is honestly one of the most modifiable workouts I think I've ever made, ever. This one is very easy to make work for you, whatever equipment you have, whatever kind of day you're having. Here we go with forward hinge arm flappers. Whew, yep, it's a deadlift. Whew, and we're really thinking about that deadlift motion. Core is pulled in tight. I know you want to think about your arms, but I would much rather have you think about your booty. Push your butt back, pull your butt forward. 20 seconds of rest. Oh my goodness, you guys. Yeah, yeah, here we are. <laughs> here we are partway through our third, third circuit is the word I'm trying to come up with. I'm looking at butter churns. That's what we're adding on this time. Our third circuit, here we go with half jacks of these exercises. And boy, do they feel different every time we do them. Now, if today is a push day for you, you might be going even slower than me because of the effort and intensity that you're bringing with the weights. A push effort, here we go with reach across. A push effort also isn't necessarily about the number on your dumbbells. It's about what feels like an effort for you. The fact is, some days these weights, when it beeps again, we're doing those forward hinge arm flappers. Some days these weights that I have in my hands, forward hinge arm flappers, feel really light. <laughs> and some days these weights feel really heavy. Some days these weights feel moderate. What I really, really want you to know about working out at this age, here we go with butter churns. So when my hands are up, feet are in. Here we go. When hands are down, one foot is out. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta slow that way down. <laughs> I was trying to actually churn some butter and what I'm really thinking about instead, who is focusing on one foot being out. Oh, and core being pulled in, 20 seconds of rest. You guys, you guys, coming up this time, we're adding on those double knees. This is as long as this step stool gets. And this is as tough as it gets. We're starting again with those half jacks like we have every round of these step stools. Oh my gosh, but this is our last time. Really thinking about taking this at strength pace, unless you're doing cardio toning or cardio with it. <laughs> my friends, what I want you to know about working out at this age is that you cannot judge yourself by the numbers. Here we go with reach across. The numbers, the numbers are what they are. And you know, age is just a number, your weight is just a number, the weight of the dumbbells, just a number. Everything, everything has its place, everything has its time. And sometimes weights are gonna feel heavy that aren't supposed to feel heavy. Here we go with our forward hinge arm flappers. Sometimes weights that feel light don't feel light. When we stop judging ourselves and just take what the day brings us. Today, I'm trying to be moderate. So I'm working with moderate pace, moderate weights. Here we go with those butter churns. Oh my gosh. Hands are up. And breathing, thinking about that core pulled in tight, really thinking about elbows. Oh, really thinking about standing on one foot at a time. This is balance work. And then here we go with double knees, hands are together. Oh my goodness, these moderate weights got more than a little bit heavy. That's what happens. We're taking this at a strength pace, double knees is no longer cardio, even though my heart is pounding. <laughs> Here we go on the other side, double knees, ah, and we are done. Oh, but we're not quite finished, are we? No, we're not. We're taking 20 seconds of rest here, you guys. And then I've got something super fun for us. We're gonna do curtsy curls with a press up. So, as we're coming down into a curtsy lunge, we're gonna curl our, bice our biceps curls up. So coming down and then press up. As we stand back up, hands go back down. 
coming down on the other side into a curl, press up. So we're down in that curtsy for a little bit longer than normal. Now here's the thing, we're coming up into a curl, press up overhead. Yeah, that was only our first interval <laughs> because this is such a complex exercise. Oh my gosh, we're only gonna do this only for three intervals, but we're taking it at a pace that feels like strength and yes, cardio, because my heart is pounding. We're getting it all in here. This is our last interval. The next time it beeps is the last time it's going to curl. Press up while we're doing that curtsy. Stand it back up. Curl, press up, and down while we stand back up. Probably our last one, maybe even our last one on each side. Nope, that was it. Oh my gosh. Put those dumbbells down. Completely down, completely out of the way. I'm gonna turn off my timer here. <sighs> you guys, you guys. Okay, I know I made a big point here. We're gonna do some arm circles to really cool this down. I know I made a big point of saying today was moderate. I used my moderate weights, yes. Took it at a moderate pace and I'm still drenched in sweat. This is kind of what we're talking about today. Moderate is as moderate does. We don't have to be lifting super heavy weights or moving fast to feel like we got a great, great workout. Now, if today was a push day for you, you might have still been using moderate weights, honestly, and going at a moderate pace. Did you notice how tough that workout got? That's what I wanted you to see about workouts. My friends, you can always, always, always make them work for you, no matter what the girl on the screen is doing with whatever weights she's got, whatever pace she's got. You can always get what you want. Let's go ahead and do some arm openers. Oh my gosh. And a nice big hug and pat on the back. What a great job you did today. Now I know some of you, if this is your push day, some of you are like, okay, I've got, I've got maybe a couple more minutes. I've got like maybe 10 more minutes in me. My friends, I have so many 10 minute workouts. I will have a suggestion for you here on screen. Probably something cardio toning so that you can go back to your lighter weights, but we'll see. We'll see what I come up with for you. <laughs> If today was a moderate workout for you, my friends, today was definitely enough. Even if you might feel like you have more, sometimes moderate feels like that. I will have an extended cool down for you so that you can get a little bit more stretching, a little bit more sweat dripping off of you before you get on with your day. On the bottom half of the screen here in a couple seconds, you're gonna see the letter P. That's an invitation to go over to Patreon where a monthly pledge from you helps me make free workouts for all of us. And thank you so so, so much for that. On the other side of the screen, that's a picture of me, but it's actually a subscribe button. Make sure that you click that and the bell notification so that YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new workout. My friends, what a great job you did today. Thank you for working out with me. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.